This is Jeremy Stafford for Gun Mag Warehouse, and we're going to be doing the top five concealed carry handguns for the baller on a budget. And here we have the Glock 43. This is the one that I carry every day. We have a barrel a little bit over three inches. We have uh, stocks, either six or seven round capacity. You can get some really good 10 rounders out there too. Um, the gun conceals really well. It's very accurate. It has a really good trigger for a small gun and you have a lot of different sight options. All in all, it's a fantastic little pistol. It is a little snappy. So if you think you're gonna run out there and shoot 500,000 rounds, you better make sure you're wearing gloves because this gun lets you know you got 9mm going. Here we have the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. This is the shield. And this is the 9mm version. One of the cool things is for those of you that are into other calibers, 40, 45, they also make it in those calibers. We have a 3.1 inch barrel, but unlike some of the other subcompacts, we have a 7 or 8 round capacity, a little bit longer in the stocks, makes it a little easier to draw, makes it a little easier to uh, get on target and be, have repeatable results. Um, the 2.0 trigger, fantastic. The gun itself has been a rugged workhorse, a lot of EDC use, a lot of off-duty police officer use. If I had any criticisms, I'd like to see about another half inch of barrel. That's going to make concealing it a little bit easier. It's going to make shooting it a little bit easier. Other than that, for under $500 retail, fantastic little pistol. All right, here we have the SIG P365. Fantastic little gun. Separates itself from the pack by having a double stack magazine. 10 rounds flush, 12 rounds slightly extended. We got about a little over three inches on the barrel. It's a very shootable, very concealable gun. A lot of firepower and a really good trigger, which a lot of people seem to kind of discount on a small gun. Trigger makes a difference. Um, I've got a lot of rounds through them. I've had great luck with them. Uh, there were some teething issues initially. Those seem to have been worked out. Time will tell, but uh, all in all, I've been impressed. It is a fantastic little pistol. And here we have the Walther PPS. This was actually one of the first very concealable, real flat, single stack nine millimeters to come out with a polymer frame and a striker fired assembly. It is, uh, it's super accurate. It's got a great trigger with fantastic reset. And the gun's built like a tank. It's about what you'd expect from Walther. Um, I've got a lot of rounds through it. I personally own one. Uh, the, the sights aren't fantastic, but there's aftermarket options out there that are much better. Uh, but I'm telling you, this gun will just go and go and go. A little bit bigger than some of the ones out there now, but you can't go wrong with this Walther PPS. All right, and here we have the Ruger Security 9, which is a very economical pistol. MSRP about 379. Street's going to be probably a little over 300 bucks. I can tell you, I've got a lot of rounds through them. The gun is absolutely reliable. You know what? It gives a little bit in ergonomics, a little chunky. Um, the controls are, are a little awkward. Um, the sights are good. There's, available, there's different sights available. The trigger is fantastic because it's an internal hammer. It's not a striker. So you have a real clean press, which aids in, you know, getting shots on the target pretty quick. Um, not a match gun by any means, but for about 300 bucks street price, this gun won't let you down.